Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Giggity, real name is Mark. And in today's video, we are going to be ranking all 82 Wreckfest vehicles from worst to best. It's, I, I, I don't know, man. Don't ask me. You're going to be like, why did this guy make this video? I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just bonkers. Now it is going to be, I am going to be ranking them from worst to best. However, it also is going to be split up into six tiers and we got the awful tier, bad tier, mediocre tier, good tier, amazing tier, and must haves tier. However, Wreckfest isn't a game about like competitive racing anyway. It's just about fun. So honestly, man, just drive whatever car you want to have the most fun in, whatever one that you think is the best. Uh, also, this is all personal opinion. So please don't get mad if your favorite car isn't higher. I'm basing it primarily off of looks and how fun it is to drive alone. Anyways, performance is just a bonus if it has it so if a car is third place but it sucks in racing don't comment down below and be like that makes no sense because i'm telling you right now it's not based off performance this is it's a fun game it's a wreck fest it's not serious so i am taking it as it as a fun game and i'm not taking it serious okay so i'm just ranking them based off of how much i like the car in the game also i do own all these vehicles so yes i have driven them all i think i got every single car in the game but if i do did miss one leave a comment down below and i'll tell you where i think it should go after doing a little bit of research on it because i'm pretty sure i have them all I'm pretty sure there's 82 cars in the game but if i missed one again let me know in the comments but anyway thank you guys so much for watching let's get right into the list with number 82 all right, so dead last, 82nd place in the first one for the awful tier, obviously, is the Bulldog. The Bulldog is just one of those small cars that are like compact, little short wheelbase looking things, uh, except this one looks really wacky. I don't like it at all. The, f the rear end of it doesn't work. It's kind of heavy, which is good, I guess, like if you're doing a, a banger race or something like that, I guess it could be useful. Um, but besides that, don't like it. Number 81 is the Supervan. I know it's a meme car. I I get it. Like it was, I guess, funny the first time I saw it. But honestly, not even compared to the other Wreckfest meme cars. This thing ain't even that funny, man. A Reliant Robin, a three wheeler. How about you eat my three dookies? You know, I'm <laughs> saying it wasn't that funny. Um, and so the super it also sucks. Obviously, it rolls over on its own. It's incredibly light. It's not fast. It's not cool looking. It's not fun. I don't like it. 80th place is just Firefly. It's like the smallest car, not really the smallest car in the game. There's a lot of other cars that are smaller than this, but it has a weird little, like, it's kind of like squatted. <laughs> it's got like a squat going on. Like the front of it's like lifted up and the back end's lowered. It just looks like a rolling egg. Uh, the headlights, I feel like look also kind of wacky. It looks like a weird, like European Citroen or something like that. I don't know what it's supposed to be based off of, but I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. 79 is going to the Killer B. What? This thing looks exactly like the firefly actually it looks better than the firefly i'll give it that because the firefly has that freaking weird little like the i hate how the back tires are covered up by the quarter panels i don't like when they do that uh but the killer b doesn't have that and this one really is squatted this one's very squatted actually um so it definitely looks a little bit different but again just a small car that just doesn't really work in the, in the sense of like breakfast 78th is going to the killer pig what there's so many killers in this game the bees and the pigs are all killing people what is going on i know i know i was shocked too but the killer pig is pretty much just a bulldog but now it has like a pig thing on the top of it again it was like kind of silly kind of like the super van i was like Dee -hee -hee -hee. i like kind of you know let out a little giggle when i first saw it but after that i do not like driving this thing 77th is the Drag Slayer. This is also the last one of the awful tiers. This is the last car I think is awful in this game. Uh, it is the Drag Slayer. It is supposed to be like a Dodge Charger Daytona thing, um, but heavily modified, obviously. But it just ended up looking like a Hot Wheels car. Like, it doesn't look real at all, and that is not what I was looking for in Wreckfest. It just does not fit in the game whatsoever. Like, it, I don't want to drive this ever. Okay, but now we're into the bad tier, which are cars that are slightly better than the awful tier, but honestly still pretty bad. And number 76, the first one for the bad tier, is the Killer BS. It is literally just the Killer B, but now it's sporty, so it has the S. yippee ki -yay. Are you excited now? I'm not. I don't like it. It's the same thing. 75th is going to the sandstorm it's a dlc car that was really weird looking it reminds me i know this is gonna literally make no sense to literally anybody because nobody probably has it but i have a certain hot wheels that looks exactly like this car and i don't like that i don't like it at all it's supposed to be like a weird baja car truck hybrid thing but in my opinion again it just doesn't work in the game it looks fake it looks like a hot wheels i don't like it 74th is going to Bugzilla. I feel like this one's going to offend a couple of gentlemen out there, and so I'm sorry. Yes, it's a monster truck. 
yes that's pretty cool because there's not really any other monster trucks in the game that i can think of off the top of my head right now but i'm sure that i'm missing one but still there's not many monster trucks so it's cool that there is one but in practice it's not that cool first of all the tires fall off so easily second of all it's literally just a buggy but with spikes on the roof of it and now it's in monster truck form it is not fun to drive it's actually not that strong surprisingly it is just not that cool 73 is going to the outlaw the outlaw is just some old hot rod thing that kind of works in the in the grand scheme of things like i guess if you really think about it it works in Wreckfest. but overall i do never choose this car it, it just it just exists and i do never no nope i don't want it 72nd is another car that's probably going to assault some people assault insult some people the limo i'm sorry for assaulting you guys there but it's the limo uh the limo is guys get your head out of the freaking bucket of cheese partner because it's not that good it is slow it is weak it is not good at handling it is just a pile of dookie yes it's a limousine yes it's kind of funny but i don't care i don't like it 71st is the gate crasher this is the first of many just like typical old american muscle cars but this one isn't really a muscle car it's kind of just a old car <laughs> uh i i do like the, this like aesthetic of cars in wreckfest i think it works the best uh however the gate crasher is just so ugly i can't get over the looks of the gate crasher it just doesn't it, it's this is not for me this one's totally personal opinion but i don't like the looks of it 70th place, however, is going to the Gremlin. The Gremlin is another one of those old cars. It's one of the uh, original cars. So was the Gate Crasher, actually. So was a lot of cars we've gone over. But uh, it is one of the original cars. And so that's pretty cool, you know. Um, it, it it looks different, I guess. It's got it's like a hatchback thing. Um, but overall, it's just very boring in the grand scheme of uh, freaking Wreckfest vehicles. Like, we'll see a lot of better cars than this. 69th place is going to the boomer the boomer is a, based off of like an old ford escort i believe like maybe a mark one mark two i don't know exactly which generation but it's based off an old ford escort which on paper sounds pretty cool but then again in in practice in Wreckfest, it's just way too small it also is like lifted which i mean i guess makes sense because i mean you're you're, you're racing in like dirt tracks which okay but i don't know it feels weird 68th is going to a very hard car to get, and when I finally ended up getting it, I was so disappointed. The Eagle R. The Eagle R is literally a Hot Wheels car. How is this in Wreckfest? It's really good. Its performance is very good for racing. If you want a good race car, this is a car for you. But I do not want to drive it ever, because I don't feel like I'm playing Wreckfest while I'm driving an Eagle R. It just doesn't make sense, man. It's got a Mohawk on it, for God's sake. Like, no, no thanks. It's a Hot Wheels car. 67th, 67th is going to the Boomer RS. It's the Boomer, but now it's a rally sport. Woo! Like, it's literally just the same thing as the Boomer. It's obviously faster than the Boomer. It has wider arches than the Boomer. and has, like, a bigger front bumper than the Boomer. But besides that, it's the same car. 66 is going to most likely... Oh, God, we have a little bit of an insult party coming up because 66 and 65th are both going to insult people. But 66th is the double-decker. Uh, it's literally just a combination of two cars that are already in the game. One's a speed demon, one's a buggy. Uh, it's just a combination of those two cars. Is it fun the first couple times you drive it? Yeah, it's very top-heavy, obviously, because it's two cars on top of each other, so it does like to tip over. It's very slow. It doesn't handle well, and it doesn't look that cool to me at all, obviously. It's funny, and I'm glad it's in the game, but just not a good car. 65th this one's this one this one i can already see the pitchforks and torches lining up outside it's the honey pot the honey pot is a porta potty that's motorized and you drive it around and it's incredibly fragile obviously it's a big meme car there's a bunch of these meme cars in the game so you got to get ready for that but it's obviously a big meme car so I, I give it respect for that you know i'm not taking it so seriously but as an actual car to drive you'll probably drive it once or twice as a challenge and then that's it 64th is going to little thrasher little thrasher is such a freaking disappointment of a truck i do do not even come at me friendo because i first of all it's personal opinion again so please remember that but also little thrasher is just like so inferior to uh war digger and mud digger and any other truck in the game that it hurts it's just a boring truck compared to the other trucks it's just not good 63rd is another truck it's vandal vandal is actually not really a truck it's a gmc vandura so it's a it's a van but it's 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 a van <laughs> you know it's not that bad it's kind of strong it's not that slow um I, and i know it's the only like actual van in the game there's like there's a couple suvs and there's a couple like wagons but there's no actual vans besides this one um but it just kind of i don't know i never really want to drive it it's not awful it's just i don't want to drive it 
All right, but now 62nd is going to the last of the bad tier before we go into the mediocre tier, and it is the Rammer. The Rammer is kind of like the Gate Crasher, but I think it looks a little bit better than the Gate Crasher. That's why I got a little bit higher, but it's just another one of those old cars. Um, there's really not much going on with the Rammer. Um, it's just a, a, an old car. There's not really much else to say about it. It has decent customization, though. I'll give it that. All right, but now we're into the mediocre tier, and the first one for the mediocre tier coming in at 61st is the Rammer RS. It is the Rammer, but now it's the Rally Sport version. It's, again, slightly, like, lower to the ground, has better aero, and is slightly faster than the regular Rammer. That's the only difference. 60th place is going to the Buggy. The Buggy is unique, and I respect the hell out of it for that. This, these are, again, these are the reason why these cars are in the mediocre tier. They're just kind of mediocre. Uh, the Buggy is, it's a Volkswagen Beetle little rally car thing. It does have pretty cool customization, so I give it respect for that. The car's light, it's slow, it's not good for pretty much any sort of actual racing, but, I mean, the looks of it are okay. 59th is going to the bumper car. I really enjoyed racing with the bumper car the first time. I think the bumper car is just like, like the reason with the honey pot, I like the small cars. Don't get me wrong. But the reason the, the problem with the honey pot was it's small, like it's fragile, but it's really like tall. So it has a big like hitbox. Uh, the bumper car doesn't have that. So I respect that out of it, but everything else about it, I don't like. It's just it's so inferior to the other small cars that I don't like it. 58th is going to the wingman. I might get some hate for this one for sure because the wingman is very, uh, it, it, it's very interesting in terms of its looks. It's obviously based off of like an old 50s daily driver type of car. Um, it has that weird little like flares on the back, which I really honestly do think is pretty cool. But everything else about it really just kind of sucks. It's really long. Like it's like, it's like the freaking limo in terms of its length. So if you like, if there's like a fly abs accidentally flying by, it's probably going to hit into you as the wingman. Uh, so that sucks. It's not that fast and it's just not that strong either. 57th is going to the Star Beast. The Star Beast is an original car, so I give it respect. I give it, you know, do, do, respect, baby, respect. But it's another gate crasher rammer scenario where it's just an old car. However, I do like the tail, the tail lights. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be based off of. If I had to guess, I'm not really into the classic cars, classic muscle cars here. So please cut me some slack. This is going to be horrible. But if I had to guess, I would guess some old like Chevy Nova, maybe like a Pontiac GTO, Ford Gran Torino, something along those lines. It has that curved back. 56th is going to the Star Beast SS. Oh my God, it's the Star Beast, but now it's the Super Sport version, which by the way, makes me think that the Star Beast is supposed to be based off of some Chevy cars. So tell me what it is, because I can't think about it. But yeah, it's, it's again, it's slightly lower, has slightly better aero, and is slightly faster than the Star Beast. Yippee! 55th is the stock car, a car that I'm super happy is in the game, but I never personally take it out. Uh, I drive this car every maybe once or twice every like month. <laughs> it's just not something I'm, I'm really enjoy playing, but it makes sense because there's a lot of like dirt oval tracks and these cars race on dirt oval tracks all the time. Uh, it's really fragile. Keep that in mind. It's not that bad in terms of performance and it looks unique, but it's just not my personal cup of tea. I've never been a big fan of these things. They look kind of weird. 54th is going to the Dominator. The Dominator is an OG car that looks very special. It doesn't just look like uh, another old car, like the Star Beast Rammer or the uh, freaking Gate Crash that we were talking about earlier. Uh, the Dominator looks different. It's got like a weird, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be based off of, but it kind of looks like like a uh, Chevy Bel Air type thing, but I know it's not the Bel Air because the Bel Air is the hot shot. Um, so I don't know what it is, but it actually doesn't look that bad. It's performance and everything else sucks, but it doesn't look that bad. 53rd is the hot shot, actually, which is the Chevy Bel Air in the game. Um, it's pretty, and when I first saw the car, I was definitely like, oh, that's pretty cool. I, I don't mind that at all. But then guess what? It ended up being the last car I bought in the entire game. I'm not even joking. Like, I bought every car before I bought the hot shot. Not because I didn't want it, but because it's mediocre. It's in the mediocre tier for a reason. It's kind of cool. It's a Chevy Bel Air, but the initial shock of, wow, that's a Chevy Bel Air. It's cool to see that in the game wears off very quickly. 52nd is going to the Pocket Rocket, another one of these very mini vehicles that are just kind of joke cars that you just give yourself a challenge to see if you can survive driving it. Uh, however, I do like how it looks. It's supposed to be like, I think it's supposed to be the Speed Demon, but like a little bit modified, obviously, to look like a little Tykes type of like, you know, RC car thing that the kids sit in, which I think is hilarious. And I, 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 I got to give the game respect for adding that. I mean, that's funny as hell, but it's just, again, it's just a small little car. It's not that, not that great. 51st is going to the step van aka the ice cream truck it's literally what it is it's an ice cream truck or like a box truck i guess you can call it because it's like a ups truck 
U.S. Postal Service truck. Um, out of the big boys, there's a lot of big boys in this game, as we're going to see. Bugzilla, we already saw one of them. That's Bugzilla. Uh, but out of the big boys, this one just kind of falls flat, man. It's not bad. It's just not as strong as the other big boys. It's just as slow as the other big boys, and it's not that cool, so... 50th place, breaking its way into the top 50, is going to El Matador. El Matador is based off of what I believe is a Chevy El Camino, but it could be a Ford Rancho. Again, I'm not too big on the old car, so I don't know the differences between them, but it looks like a, a, a El Camino, and since it's called the El Matador, I would guess it's an El Camino, uh, and it's pretty unique, and I, get, I give it that, you know, a, a truck car thing in the game is unique, and it's not bad in terms of its performance, it's not weak or anything like that, it's just kind of, eh, it's mediocre, it's in the mediocre tier. 49th is going to the Nexus RX. There's a lot of these like little Japanese cars. And as, since I am a young boy, uh, spoiler alert, I do like Japanese cars. Um, but the Nexus RX, it's just not that. It's not it, man. It's just too tiny, too boring, not enough going on. It's obviously it's supposed to be a Honda CRX, but it's just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like I just got like when I saw it the first time, so. 48th is going to the first of the wagons. There's a lot of wagons in this game, and I like them all. It's the War Wagon. The War Wagon is by far the most boring wagon in the game. Uh, it is just so bland. It is literally like the definition of a rectangle. It reminds me of like, back when you were a kid, you would see these cars driving around all the time and just be like, I'm so happy that my mom's not driving me in that thing because that's that's what this thing is. Uh, it's also not fast. It's, not, it's, it's so inferior to the other wagons. All right, but 47th is the last of the mediocre tier before we get into cars that I actually like am excited to drive and I drive them quite often. It is the Rebel Rat. The Rebel Rat is just this weird old Camaro thing. I don't know what it's supposed to be, like a Firebird, uh, but it has a spoiler on the back, which I don't know why that's there. I feel like that should have been an option, but it comes stock with the spoiler. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of interesting, but overall, I just feel like it doesn't really make so much sense in Wreckfest. All right, but now we are into the Harvester, or the good tier, my bad. And number 46 is the Harvester. This is another one of the big vehicles. It is one of the most destructive vehicles in the game. You, you can destroy people with this thing. So that's really cool. If you're really into that stuff, uh, definitely, you know, take this out, troll some people, do whatever. Uh, but it's incredibly slow. It's actually not that strong if you actually get hit. Uh, and I think the reason why is because you're always, like, pretty much at a standstill since it is so slow. And it the fun wears off fast. Unless you really enjoy just destroying people, then you'll probably like it. But besides that, mm. 45th is going to the trooper i actually wanted to put the trooper so much higher it's, it's a jeep wrangler and i wanted to put this car higher but after like I, after really thinking about it man every time i use this thing it is so fragile it is so top heavy it sucks to drive it is not fun to drive which hurts because it looks pretty cool it's a freaking jeep wrangler and that's awesome but it just its performance is just dookie water 44th is going to the definition of a wreckfest vehicle the sweeper it we're pretty much almost at halfway and it makes total sense why this is pretty much right in the half because it's just a mustang not even no it's not a mustang it's a mercury cougar it's a mercury cougar with like nothing going on for it there's nothing special about this car it's just it just exists 43rd is going to the war digger this is a really really strong option in this game for like demolition derby in terms of its strength it's really really decent and since it's got a very small wheel base it's also kind of hard to hit so the war digger definitely gets some you see some play it's, it's it's one of the i would have to say like top 10 favorites of the community uh it's not mine though uh because <laughs> it's not that great uh it's just another it kind of reminds you of like the little thrasher 2.0 you know it's got a, a little bit better performance and stuff like that but in terms of its looks it's just another truck 42nd and we are getting into the meme vehicles for a second there's two in a row here because the first one is the motorhome the motorhome is very fragile which makes sense because motorhomes are fragile they're pretty much just made up of little panels and they just get crumbled when you fart next to them but the motorhome is very fragile so it's not actually as strong as you would think and its performance sucks it is funny and it is very fun to see it get destroyed the first couple of times but after that effects wear off 41st this is officially halfway done with the list we are, I am running out of breath here. It's the sofa car. It's a hilarious meme vehicle. Definitely one of the better meme vehicles. You are literally driving a sofa with exhausts on it. How does that make sense? It doesn't. Uh, but everything else about it does suck. And that's the reason why it's not like up in a higher tier. I do like it's designed the best of all like the meme vehicles, but it's just awful. You fly off of this thing so easily and it's horrible to handle. So 40th place is going to the Gorby. This is supposed to be based off of some russian like lada i believe if i'm not mistaken um 
but it actually is kind of decent because you can put really cool spoilers on it you can put like huge wide body kits on it it looks like a little race car which i kind of like uh but at the same time it's a very small car and like i said before not usually the biggest fan of the very tiny cars in this game um and this is just a box on wheels with a wide body kit on it i mean if you literally put a frosted flakes box on the track and put some wide body fenders on it it would look like this car 39th is going to the Bullet. The Bullet is just a Dodge Charger. One of my favorite muscle cars of all time, by the way, like the 69, 70s Chargers. Ooh, they're so gorgeous. Uh, and that's what this one's based off of. So you would probably think, oh, well, he probably loves it. Not really. It honestly just kind of like falls flat in, in a way it obviously it's in my good tier so i do drive it every once in a while but overall i don't know it's just kind of it's just another old car in the game 38th is going to the hearse this is a significantly better wagon than the war wagon we were talking about earlier it's obviously much more of a joke it's a lot older but it's also a lot bigger because of that and so it's a lot stronger it's also a little bit slower it's kind of like you got to pick and choose when it comes to the wagons do you want straight up speed then you go with the um hammerhead which we haven't gotten into yet uh do you want straight up power and like you know strength then you go with the hearse if you want a decent combination of both but arguably probably the worst uh you go with the war wagon but the hearse is just kind of it's okay 37th this is the only car that well not the only one there's a couple others but it's the hot bomb and the hot bomb is like one of the only vehicles in the game where they their upgraded version of them as you know there's a lot of upgraded versions of other cars in this game uh where the upgraded version of it is actually significantly different this is obviously supposed to be like the hot shot but it has like a really it's really low to the ground it looks like a freaking like top speed salt flat kind of car which i think is sick it looks like a military vehicle it has a big shovel on the front it reminds you of like a car you would see in death race and i love it 36th is going to the Road Slayer. The Road Slayer is a, an OG car, and so it does kind of suffer from that initial, you know, wreckfest having just basic old cars in it phase. However, this one is definitely different. It's lower to the ground. You can tell it's a little bit more sporty than the rest. Uh, I think it's supposed to be based off of a Firebird. I think if I had to guess a second gen Firebird, maybe a third gen. I don't, again, I don't know these things about, uh, no, it's definitely a second gen because a third gen, yeah, it's gotta be a second gen. But either way, it's pretty cool. I like it. 35th is going to the Wild King. The Wild King is the car that starts with really big uh, exhausts coming out of the hood for some reason, but you can take those off. Uh, if you couldn't take those off, it would probably be a lot lower because I think those look stupid. I think they look goofy, but when you take them off, I think they look. it looks pretty cool. It's, I think, supposed to be like a Mach 2 Mustang, if I'm not mistaken, which I hate those in real life. Those things are hideous, but in this game, it works. 34th is going to the Panther RS, a car I never expected to see in a demolition derby game. It's an old, based off of an old Jaguar. I don't remember the exact model. Um, God, it's going to eat me up because I cannot remember that model right now. But it is, yeah, it's based off of an old Jaguar, and you would never expect to see that in this game, but it actually works really well. It is a little bit too high, like it's too lifted, you know. Uh, we started to see in the DLCs, they started to lower the sports cars more, uh, but this was an OG vehicle, so it was pretty lifted, but it, it was pretty cool. 33rd is going to the mud digger the one that probably ever caught everybody's eye the first time they loaded into uh wreckfest is seeing the mud digger especially if you played flat out games in the past uh this car was in those games too and it was a monster in those games and so it's just really cool to see this thing make a return it's just a basic suv it's nothing really super special about it but it just works in this game 32nd is going to the Speedy. The Speedy is a little mini Cooper and it's a freaking joke of a car, but I actually kind of like it a little bit. It's got like a wide body kit on it. It looks so aggressive. Is it horrible? Yeah, it's really light. Its performance isn't bad because it's so light, you know, so it does it does do pretty decent on actual racing. But the problem is the second anybody wants to get by you or has a problem with you, they just have to literally like drive by and yell like an insult at you and your car will crash. It's that, it's that weak. From one incredibly weak car, to a incredibly strong car, 31st is the Grand Duke. The Grand Duke is probably the most used car in the game right now. Uh, if you go into multiplayer demolition derbies, almost everybody uses the Grand Duke because it is such a monster. It's so strong. It's such a long, big car. And it also just works really well in the game. It just feels like a, a, a good uh, addition to Wreckfest. I, I have nothing against the Grand Duke. Uh, if it is bad for racing, um, but it's insane for uh, demolition derbies. Now we are into the top 30 and 30th place is the Speedbird. This is the, not actually technically the poster car, but pretty close to it. Uh, it is the quote unquote poster car for uh, for Wreckfest. Everybody knows this car because it is that that car that you see every time you log into, into Wreckfest and it's pretty decent. You know, there's nothing I can say bad about it. It doesn't look bad, doesn't handle bad. It's just a decent car. 
29th, however, is the poster car. It's the Speedbird GT. The Speedbird GT is very similar to the regular Speedbird. However, I do give them a little bit of credit because they changed at least some things about this. Like the whole front end looks a little bit different from the regular Speedbird, which is respectable. But again, just like all the other cars that have like duplicate versions of them, just like a little bit sportier, uh, the only real difference is that it's like lower, has a more aggressive arrow, and that's about it. 28th is going to the Sunrise Super. This was like one of the first cars I actually bought with my like, with like the money I earned in the game uh, when I got the game because I was just so excited. It's a Datsun 240Z and I love Zs. I have a 350Z in real life and I've always loved them. And so I really wanted this car. Uh, it does suffer from, again, like the, like the Panther RS we talked about earlier. It does kind of suffer from that, oh, it's an OG car, so it's too lifted. But besides that, it's pretty freaking cool, man. And finally, 27th place and the last for the good tier before we get into the amazing tier is the Hammerhead. The Hammerhead is not my technical favorite because that's a, well, we'll talk about that in a second, but it's it's a very good uh, wagon. It's one of my favorite wagons. It's obviously supposed to be just a Volvo 240, which is a sick car in real life. Um, and it is just, it just checks all the boxes. It's not slow. It's not weak. And it's not bad. It doesn't look bad either. Like, I like it. I like it. But now we are into the amazing tier and the first one for the amazing tier at number 26 is the hunter panther the hunter panther is just a panther rs but they changed it like they've changed multiple other cars and made it faster but they actually changed this one they lowered it a lot they gave it much wider fenders whole new arrow and everything like that and it looks a lot different from the regular panther rs so i give it a lot of credit for that uh it is you know its guts are the same it's just a panther rs but slightly like better but i give it credit for it 25th is going to the Hammerhead RS. Oh, what's that? You wanted the Hammerhead, but with bo wide body fenders and slightly more aggressive arrow? Well, here you go. Here's the Hammerhead RS. This is, however, like my favorite freaking uh, like wagon in the game, though. I will say that. So I'm not trying to bash on them for doing that thing. I do like how they do that, um, but it's just kind of funny. But anyway, yeah, the Hammerhead RS is just a Hammerhead, but better. 24th is going to the School Bus. This is probably a lot of people's favorites, if I had to guess. It's such a, like iconic vehicle in the game it's literally a school bus man it is obviously incredibly strong obviously incredibly funny and it's very fun to drive multiple multiple times however there is this it's kind of like it it does wear off because it's a meme car and almost all the meme cars do wear off a little bit at some point uh but i would say the school bus definitely holds its own 22nd is going to the road slayer gt this is my go-to car if i want to win a serious race in multiplayer i love this thing it's fully upgraded on mine i think it looks incredible it's just the road slayer but way more aggressive you know just again just like just like the hammerhead rs or the um what was the other one hunter panther that we were just talking about it's the regular road slayer but now it has more stuff going on 22nd coming to a 22nd near you it's the rocket the regular bug standard rocket the mustang the 65 mustang it is the car that you start with in the game the car that everybody sees when they first load up with the american flag paint job on it it is iconic to wreck fest jerry i don't want to hear it jerry um and it is just a legend it would be a crime to put it any lower than the amazing tier 21st is the rocket rx it's the same thing as the rocket but now it's lower with more aggressive fenders that's about it however it is a lot better uh, i do like the rocket rx a lot better than the normal rocket um and i think it looks a whole lot better but the regular rocket itself you got to remember has the has the old uh you know legendary status going for it so it's kind of hard to separate them that much 20th place is going to a car that i don't own the bandit ripper r2 the only way to get this car is by like pre-ordering the game i believe something you have to earn like a special edition i don't know but i don't have it so uh, i don't actually never actually driven it but based off of its looks it looks pretty mean looks pretty cool 19th is the bandit ripper v8 another car that i don't own and as far as i know as far as i can tell there is no difference between them really except for one has a v8 and one doesn't have a v8 uh so i'm assuming the v8 is probably a little bit faster I don't know. They look exactly the same. So they're right next to each other. <laughs> 18th. Okay. Now we're into cars that I do own again. 18th is lawnmower. The lawnmower is without a doubt, the funniest, best, small meme car in the game. It is the best small car. In my opinion, it actually functions. You can actually handle in it. It doesn't just automatically want to spin out all the time. It doesn't want to tip itself over all the time. Uh, so you can actually race and enjoy yourself racing, but it also adds that bonus of the danger of being in a small car. It it nailed it perfectly, in my opinion. I think the lawnmower is the best small car in the game for sure. 17th is going to the battle bus. And no, I ain't talking Fortnite, buddy. So don't you dare thank the bus driver because if you thank me, 
I'm coming over there. I'm coming over there. My lips are dry. Uh, but the battle bus is just, it's, its oh my god, it's just a short bus. It literally is. It's the same thing as a school bus, but shorter, but it's still very strong. If you want to really troll some people, you do it in the battle bus. It is just, it is just an icon for the multiplayer trolling lobbies. Uh, I love the battle bus. It's awesome. It is kind of tough to get, but I love it for that. 16th is going to the regular Bandit. Yes, there's three cars that I don't own. The Bandit, the Bandit Ripper R2, and the Bandit Ripper V8. As far as I can tell, the Bandit is so much cooler than the other two. I think they went a little over the top of the spikes and like added aggressiveness to the Bandit Rippers. And the regular Bandit is just a nice old challenger. Like it's just cool, man. It works really well. 15th is going to the big rig. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's right. There's a big rig in this game. Of course there is. It's really easy to get this. Actually, you get it like right on. And it is, in my opinion, without a doubt, the best of the big vehicles that you can just dominate people with. Well, not the best because there's one more better than this, but you'll see what I mean. It's pretty much the same thing. And the reason why I say that is because 14th is the Doom Rig. It, it, it is the big rig, but slightly more aggressive looking, slightly stronger, uh, slightly slower though. So if you want to like actually race and actually be a little bit competitive, but with the added bonus of having the strength, then you would definitely choose the big rig over the doom rig. But the doom rig is just so much more like impactful. That boy slaps, you know, it's like freaking Mike Tyson hitting you know, when you get hit with a doom rig. 13th place is going to the trophy runner. From here on out, the rest of these cars are all cars that I race a lot uh and they're all cars that are fun uh none of them are really jokes either they're all very serious cars and i like them all the trophy runner is obviously a trophy truck uh it does have the kind of like suffers from the trooper thing where it does kind of suck to drive it sometimes because it wants to tip over a little bit it's really top heavy um it is not that strong for a truck but it's very fast for a truck and so it just kind of it makes up for it 12th place and the last for the amazing tier before we get into the must-haves tier is the Venom. The Venom is based off of just a C3 Corvette, just a normal C3 Corvette, and I love that. It's like the last car you get in the game. Uh, well, not the last car you're going to get, but the last car you're supposed to get in the career mode, um, and it's freaking awesome. It's so cool. It's so fun. It's so fast. It looks awesome. It fits the game well. Everything about it is great. All right, but now we are into the must-haves, and these are cars that I think that you just gotta drive at least once in this game. Uh, in 11th, it's a Super Venom. The Super Venom is the Venom, but now it has wider fenders. It's another one of those cars that are just a little bit better than the original version, so it gets one spot higher than the original version. However, this one, I do believe, is d different enough to separate it by, like, a whole tier section, because the Super Venom is much more aggressive looking and is much more fast. It's also, like, the fastest car in the game, no joke, so that, that's good, too. 10th place is going to the Speed Demon. Yes, there is a couple OG cars, actually, that are in the top 10. We are, by the way, in the top 10 now, if you can't tell. Um, and the Speed Demon's one of them. It's based off of Mark III Toyota Supra, uh, which is pretty decent. It does kind of suffer, again, from the car OG cars being a little bit too lifted, in my opinion. Um, it's definitely high off the ground, but overall, it feels really well to drive. And for a Japanese car in this game, which a lot of the Japanese cars are very light, this one feels like it has some weight to it. Speaking of light Japanese cars, number nine is the Raiden RS. It's based off of like an MR2 rally car thing. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's not a regular MR2. Uh, and it's very small. And I know before I was talking about how I hate the small cars and I do hate the small cars, but this one just feels good. Uh, I use this one all the time if I'm doing any sort of like actual racing and it's not like just banger racing in online. I use the Raiden RS for that because it's fast and it's light and it just, it likes it. It likes to go fast, mate. Eighth place is going to the Blade, and this is the reason why I knew the other, the Road Slayer, wasn't a uh, Firebird, third gen Firebird, uh, because the Blade is a third gen Firebird, and I love it. I love it so much. It is so freaking cool looking. Its performance is pretty mid, if you ask a boy here, Marcus, but overall, I have a pretty decent time driving in this thing, man. Seventh place is another OG vehicle. It's the TriStar. The TriStar is think supposed to be based off of an old nissan skyline like the first generation nissan skylines i think that's what it's supposed to be based off of but i'm not 100 sure because the back end looks weird the back end like goes to like a slant and that's not what they look like on the real cars but either way uh it is really really cool it's i i like it a lot i just there's just something about it that works really really well i think it's just like a regular old sedan but that makes sense in a crash em up derby game Sixth place doesn't really actually make that much sense in the Crash Mode Derby game because it's the Hornet. The Hornet is based off of the E24 6 Series BMWs, which is one of my favorite cars in real life. I love them. I think the Shark Nose looks really, really good. Uh, they're really cool cars. And in this game, they look just as good. And they also admittedly aren't the best in terms of their performance. They're just a pretty average run-of-the-mill car. But again, we talked about in the beginning of this video that I'm not really basing it off of how great they are in terms of performance anyways. And I think the Hornet looks really cool. 
But now we are into the top five, my top five favorite cars in the game. And number five is the Stellar. The Stellar is, I'm pretty sure, supposed to be based off of the Opal Manta 400 rally car, like Group B rally car thing. I think that's what it's supposed to be based off of, but don't quote me on that because I could be slightly wrong. Only slightly wrong though, because I'm never fully wrong. Like, pff, come on now. But it's really cool looking. It's really lightweight, but it handles so well. It is a very fun car to drive in, in actual like online events and stuff. It's just overall a really good car. Fourth place is going to the Raven, however, and the Raven is supposed to be based off of, I believe, a Buick Grand National. But again, I could be wrong on that. But either way, hello, whatever it's supposed to be based off of, I like it. I like it in real life. It just works so well. I, it reminds me of like a NASCAR car almost, like an older NASCAR car. Um, and so I, I like that a lot about it. It feels kind of like right at home. Like spoiler alert, in, in Motor Storm, if you guys ever played that game, in Motor Storm, one of my favorite cars in that game is the NASCAR car. Like, I don't know what it is, but driving like NASCAR cars in dirt tracks and like beating each other up with them just feels right. Third place is going to the last of the OG vehicles, my favorite of the OG vehicles, the Road Cutter. I'm pretty sure the Road Cutter is supposed to be based off of the 1965 Pontiac GTO, which is the original pony car, baby, the original muscle car, whatever you want to call it. And I love that thing in real life, and I love it in this game. I think they absolutely nailed it. It w works so well in the game. It's an older muscle car, but it's an older muscle car that just works. It's not boring, even though most people might think it is. To me, it's not. I love the road cutter. Second place, however, is going to the Cardinal. The Cardinal is the Ford Crown Vic or the police car in this game. It's the only one that has that like police livery option with the police uh, sirens on the roof of it too. And so that's pretty cool. But overall, I just like playing as it too. It again feels right. Like people take Crown Vicks all the time into demolition derbies because they're really cheap cars right now. And they're pretty good for it too. It's not too light, but it's not too slow. Uh, it's not too light, but it's not too heavy, but it's not too uh, slow either. It's just overall really well-rounded car in the game. But if you're a true Wreckfest fan and you know process of elimination, then you know that my first place pick is the Razor. Yes, my JDM fanboy is coming out, but come on. I'm a young kid. The, this car was meant for young kids to like. It's a little, it's literally a bright green car with a spoiler and lowered little sports car thing. It's obviously supposed to be a R33 Skyline, which I actually don't really care for too much in life, but I think it works in this game again. Like imagine if they added like something like the, uh, mark IV supra i don't know if i would have liked it as much because it makes more sense having a skyline like it's just a regular sedan like these cars are cheap in japan so it makes sense why people would use them as demolition derbies over there uh and i just like it a lot it feels fun it feels cool it handles well and it also makes sense in the game but anyway ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's very long video of ranking all 82 rest rec wreck fest vehicles from worst to best i gotta go take a rest fest because i'm tired my boy <laughs> Uh, in tier list format as well, so you guys could get your old, uh, get your, get your tier list stuff in there. I know you guys like that tier list stuff, so hey, 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 got you covered. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And Daspadania, have a nice night. I'm gonna go, like, drink some water because my mouth is dry.